Now, who do you think I'm gonna recommend for a new position? Let's say a company like Cisco or another company are looking to hire someone and they've asked me to recommend someone. Would I recommend someone that I don't know or would I recommend someone like Calvin who's been helping on my Discord? Yesterday I spoke about how you can change your life and receive more by giving. And Calvin is a great example of that. Calvin's only 16 years old. He's a young person, but he's already got his CCNA, CCMP and other certifications. In other words, a big tip for if you wanna hack your career or take your career to the next level or open doors, whichever term you wanna use, is help someone and they will help you. Calvin is helping tremendously on my Discord community, so I wanna help him. If he ever needs a reference, I'll be that reference for him because he's helped me tremendously. And I've actually been able to already open additional doors for him because he's prepared to help. And he's not so concerned about earning a whole bunch of money. He's more concerned about making contacts, opening doors, getting to know people in the industry. Great example of how to do it. I wish I had started when I was his age. I started much later in life. I had already worked in a retail environment for a number of years just to cover the bills. I had to do a whole bunch of stuff before I could actually start my networking career. He has done it right. He started when he was very young. Before he's graduated, he's already getting known in the industry. Fantastic way to do it. But in addition, he's not letting a lack of experience stop him. You know what it's like. A lot of companies will advertise, you need to have five years of experience or 10 years of experience for a junior position, some ridiculous amount of years of experience. He is already building experience and building references and building contacts before he goes full time. Now, a lot of the advice that I'm gonna give you depends on where you are in your career. Calvin is an example of someone who's in the beginning of their journey. Donald isn't someone that's gonna to wanna to work for me in a small business but he's a consultant. Now, if someone asked me to recommend someone for a project in Canada or the US, who do you think I'm gonna recommend? Donald co-authored these books with Todd Lamley. In other words, he's written content. And let me tell you, he did a fantastic job with the network automation and wireless sections as an example in this book. I think he did a fantastic job explaining network automation. Donald really knows network automation, network programmability. He has a vast amount of knowledge. But how do I know that? Because I've seen his work. I've seen what he's written in these books. I've seen what he's published on his YouTube channel. I've seen what he's published on his website. Are you getting it? You need to be able to demonstrate your work. So put your work online so that people can see what you've done. Before we go any further, I need to say this. First thing is you must believe in yourself. I've said this before in other videos, but it's so important, I'm gonna say it again. You must believe in yourself. Ignore the haters, ignore the doubters, ignore anyone who's told you that you're not good enough or you're stupid or you can't do it. Ignore those people. Spend time with people that build you up. Spend time with people that help you grow. Don't have friends that drag you down. Make friendships with people that can help you reach your goals. I was told many times in my life, David, you can't do it. David, you are this type of person. And then they try and put me in a box. You too young, you too old, you have the wrong accent, you from the wrong country, you from this, that, or the other. Ignore all that nonsense. Don't let someone else tell you what to do with your life. You are responsible for your own life. You are responsible for your own decisions, not your parents, not your friends, you are responsible. So that means there's two parts to this. Number one, you can decide where you wanna go. And number two, you're responsible for the decisions that you make. You are responsible to make the right decisions for yourself and your family. It's not gonna always be easy. I never said it was. I've been through some hard times in my life. I've done some really terrible jobs. But let me tell you, if you keep on grinding, you work hard, you focus, you know where you're going, doors can open for you and you can change your life. There are so many examples out there of people who have changed their lives by making a decision and sticking to it. And let me just say, making a decision is one thing. Putting in the work is what really counts. 
You might have a goal and it's important to have a goal, but you've got to do the work to get you to that goal. Here's a great example. This bookshelf behind me, very intelligent bookshelf. It's a very intelligent bookshelf because there are a lot of very interesting books on the bookshelf. That's not going to help me. I need to read those books and get that information into my head. You've got to put in the effort and read the books, study the courses, watch the videos, etc., to make things happen. And I'm not telling you where you should go. If cybersecurity, ethical hacking, that type of thing is what you want to do, then spend time on things that get you where you want to go. If you want to be a network engineer, then spend time on things that get you to that goal. I'm sorry, but don't have excuses in 2021. You are responsible for your decisions. I probably don't have to tell you this, but the world has changed dramatically in the last few years with the rise of social media. In many cases today, the hurdles or the barriers of getting to a decision maker have been removed. Rather than having to go through a whole bunch of gatekeepers to get to someone who makes a hiring decision, you can circumvent all of that through social media. You can very quickly jump the queue, if you like, by making good contacts in the industry. Make sure that you contribute to the community because if you are a good contributor to the community, it will open up doors for you. Here's a great example, Cisco Champions. Small group of selected individuals that get early access to content and information from Cisco. To join this program, you need to have some kind of social following. Now, you don't necessarily have to have a massive following. So you don't have to be a network chuck as an example. You might just have 100 followers. You might just have 500 followers. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that you're contributing to the industry, you are helping people, and that will allow you to join a program like this. And let me tell you, programs like this from Cisco are fantastic. Lauren, who runs this program, is amazing. She really cares about the people on the program. And guess what? She's someone who works for Cisco. She can give you advice if your goal is to work at Cisco. She could perhaps, and there's no pressure on her by me saying this, but she could perhaps introduce you to someone who could introduce you to someone who could get you hired at Cisco. And I'm not saying that that's what she's going to do. The point is, is if you make contacts, if you make friends with people in the industry, your chances of getting hired in a specific industry go up exponentially. Make sure that you create content and share your knowledge with others in the industry and opportunities will come to you. Now, you may be stuck in a dead end job somewhere, but what are you doing after work? What are you doing on weekends? Are you studying? Are you making contacts in the industry? Another example is someone who asks for advice when they try to get into the cybersecurity sphere. And I'm going to give you these career hacks to help you. If you're trying to move from one type of job to another, so you're trying to break into the cybersecurity industry or networking industry, whatever it is, and you don't have a job role that allows you to build up experience in that arena, then number one, help others so that they will recommend you. If this person ever asked me to be a job reference for them, I would be because they've helped me again in my Discord community and they've helped others. And my advice to this person, and my advice is the same to you, if you haven't got years of experience that you can put on your resume or CV, then create examples of projects and work that you can show to a potential employer. So as an example, don't write code and just bury it on your computer. If you've got code and you're coding, then put it on GitHub. If I'm looking for a developer, the first thing I'm going to look for is their code on GitHub or other examples of the work that they've done. Make sure that you put your work out there so that others can see what you've done. So if it's code, put code on GitHub. If it's projects that you've worked on, put examples of your projects on your LinkedIn profile or on social media so that people know the stuff that you're getting up to. Make sure that you've updated your LinkedIn profile with any projects that you've worked on. So let's say you helped a small business or a school implement a network, or you helped troubleshoot something at your church. Think about what's happened in 2020. Churches have had to move online. A lot of small businesses have had to move online. That means that there are more opportunities to help small businesses, help churches and other organizations better manage their IT infrastructure. So volunteer to help them. 
If you've helped them with their Zoom conferences, or you've helped them build a website, or you've helped them deploy a network, put that on your resume, put that on your LinkedIn profile, and make sure that you list the projects that you've worked on. It doesn't matter if it's small, make sure that your LinkedIn profile is up to date. Because think about it, if you are applying for a job, an employer is going to look online at your social media profiles. They're gonna do it. So what are you posting on Facebook? What are you posting on Instagram? What are you posting on LinkedIn and other places? Can I see examples of what you've done? So very important, make sure that you can practically demonstrate your skills. Don't tell me on a resume that you understand OSPF or BGP. I'll know that you know those technologies if I read your blog post or if I watch a YouTube video where you explain this stuff. Calvin is explaining MPLS in a YouTube video. Just by watching that video, I already know his level of knowledge. So practically demonstrate your knowledge on social media. That's a fantastic way to open doors. I've had a lot of people ask for this, so here we go. Two people are gonna win this Alpha Network Adapter, fantastic network adapter. This is my favorite network adapter when it comes to hacking with Kali Linux or Kali Linux, if you prefer. Fantastic network adapter. And then two people are going to win this network adapter. This is one of those network adapters that works really easily with Kali. This network adapter requires a bit of work, but this is more powerful because it supports five gigahertz. Very, very nice network adapter. Okay, so the way this is gonna work, is I will give two people a $100 Amazon e-gift to buy one of these. That should cover the cost of the network adapter and all or part of the shipping costs to get it to you. And then for the other network adapter, I'm gonna give two people a $50 Amazon e-gift, which they can use then to buy that network adapter. And that will also cover the cost of the network adapter and all or part of the shipping costs to get it to you. Okay, so four people will win alpha network adapters during this giveaway. Now, another tip with hacking your career is follow the trends. And I'm not talking about micro trends. Don't just run after the latest thing and say, ooh, this is a fantastic technology, I must learn this. Look at the long-term trends. So don't just run after the hottest thing at the moment, even though that does help in many cases. I believe in riding waves. I've mentioned this before, ride the waves. Look at the big technologies that are changing the world. As an example, voice over IP, which I got into many, many years ago. Another technology was network automation or network programmability. I got on that wave early with OpenFlow. OpenFlow kind of died, but my time studying that wasn't wasted because it helped launch me into the network automation stuff. So ride the waves. And with that in mind, I'm gonna be giving away my Linux for Network Engineers course. So use the link below if you wanna win access to my Linux for Network Engineers course on Udemy. I'm also gonna be giving away my Ansible course, so use the link below once again if you want access to my Ansible course. At the moment, my student numbers on Udemy are at about 580,000. Really hoping that we can get that to 600,000 before the end of the year. One of my big aims is to impact as many people as I can. So please make sure that you tell others of my giveaway so that they can also get access to free courses. Kevin Wallace, once again, has been really helping me this year, and he's once again come to the table with a free CCNA course. So use the link below if you wanna enter to win Kevin's CCNA video course. Kevin, once again, is a fantastic instructor, someone to learn from if you wanna pass your CCNA. Todd Lamley, once again, is famous for his CCNA books. Here are his Cybex books for the CCNA certification. He's written a whole bunch of books, fantastic author, and once again, one person will win platinum access to Todd's website. Todd has given away a whole bunch of stuff this year. Really wanna thank him for his support. This is a fantastic giveaway. Todd is giving someone access to his firepower training, his CCMP security training. You get access to Kevin Wallace's CCMP training. You get access to some of my courses. Get access to a whole bunch of instructors' courses on his website. Really wanna thank Todd for his support. So use the link below to enter if you wanna win platinum access to Todd Lamley's website. Don't be restricted by the paradigms or the ways of thinking of your parents or previous generations. Social media has revolutionized the way the world works. So use that to your benefit. Mm -hmm.